Hello, in this video I will walk you through my 2014-2015 homeschool planner. I made this myself. I have purchased planners in the past and two things. They either have a lot of stuff I don't need, won't use, or they are missing things that I do want and would use. So last year I watched a YouTube video from Twigs, Twine, and Vine and uh, she did a very thorough uh, three-part video series on her homeschool planner and uh, I will link a I will put in the description box a link to the second video which is where I stole most of my ideas from for my own homeschool planner um, she was very thorough but that was good be, uh, much more thorough than I'm going to be but uh, it, it really showed in detail how she did her binder so let's get started uh, as you can see it's fairly thick kind of weighty but that's okay because like I said everything um, that's in it is the stuff that I wanted in it. Um, I went to Office Depot and had them put a coil binding on it for me. This was under three dollars for them to bind it all and they did a really good job since like I said I did do this by hand so um, it's not exactly perfect on the uh, measurement of some of the pages. I was off by you know a hair on a couple of these pages and the lady at Office Depot did a really good job of making sure that all the pages were as evenly lined up as she could get them so that they would all be trapped within the coil. Okay so the front cover and the back cover and all of the dividing pages in between are from were made from a scrapbook pack of paper that I already owned and then I just laminated them for durability. And then on the front and back covers, I cut them just a little bit longer than the dividers to allow for the tabs. Okay, so open it up, 2014-2015 school year. This is washi tape. Um, I used it throughout the binder occasionally. Um, I do have a small handful of rolls of it. I don't have, I, you know, I've seen people that have like, you know, 200 rolls of it. I'm, I don't have that, but I do like it to dress it up and add a little color. And then throughout the planner, you'll also see that I have some quotes, um, some things I've printed out off my, that I've pinned on Pinterest, just to remind me of why we're doing this and, you know, just for a little inspiration kick boost. Uh, the next page, I have a tasks and to-do list, and this I did laminate also, and uh, that's because I will use a wet erase marker on it to check off the boxes um, to keep me on track. And uh, wet erase versus dry erase, dry, dry erase so it doesn't transfer onto the other page or wipe off before I want it to be wiped off. So, you know, everyday tasks, every day we do a morning meeting, we have Bible study. Uh, depending on the day, we do either art or music appreciation or a nature study. Um, we do family read alouds on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We do current events. And then lunch learning is just that, the stuff that we do kind of for fun that we learn during lunch. And then once a week tasks, you know, put the library books on hold, check in a grade work, um, print out weekly homework sheets, uh, meet for literary discussions, and uh, also throughout the binder or planner, you're going to see these yellow tabs, and that's just uh, to cover up my kids' names, which, um, you know, I'll probably mess up at some time and reveal those, but for right now, I'd like to keep those private. And then once a month, record the grades, um, you know, gather supplies for next month's science experiments, that kind of thing. Again, here's one of these other quotes from my Pinterest page. And our first divider is our yearly review, or sorry, yearly overview. And then the first page is um, just a calendar of the school year where I've highlighted our first and last days, um, the, the days that we are on holiday or have no school, breaks, weekends, when school is in session. And this I got from um, the 5Js.com and I, I'll link that as well in the notes and uh, lessons learned so I made two copies of this a backup because in case something changes and I need to drastically change days and stuff it won't look quite as messy I'll just quickly redo it and pull out the old one uh, the next page is a list of all the holidays from the years 2014 through 2018 just at a glance look and I got this from Tina 
at newbie homeschool. Well, that's blurry. I'll, I'll put a link in the, the description box, but it's Tina, newbie homeschooler, dynamic two moms. And then the next page is a calendar of our local school district's um, days, school days, just so I can plan for things like uh, spring break and that kind of stuff and not be going on spring break with everybody else. And then the next one is monthly plan. Again, a little bit more washi tape. So this is where we get into a lot of the stuff I borrowed from Twigs, Twine, and Vine. Uh, so during the monthly plan, the, it's a uh, back to two page uh, calendar for the month and I've put um, you know, our first day of school, different things that just the things that relate specifically to our schooling. Um, and then also the birthdays because we actually take school off when we have a birthday. We don't do school on our birthdays. And then the next page is, let me get an overview for you. So we have the books we're going to read, our media we're going to watch, things we're going to do, places we're going to go. And then here is put a pin in it. And these are thumbnail pictures that I printed off my Pinterest account um, board, homeschool board. And this is a, another thing from Twigs, Twine, and Vine. I thought it was fantastic is that, you know, I pin all these things on my homeschool board and then I forget when I wanted to use them. And this way it's right here and I know, oh, yeah, I remember now. I want, you know, to talk about the map of Africa. I want to talk, a, have um, my son watch the video of the Cold War in Asia or whatever um, during the month of September. And then I know to just, it reminds me to go and actually do that. And then below is required reading. And I'll write which student it is, the title of the book, and whether they finished it or not. And then the next page is a page for notes for that month. And um, I printed this off of printablepaper.net because I wanted it, you know, I could have used regular school book paper, but I wanted the back side to be blank so that I could do the next month. So as you can see, it just goes through like that. And um, continues on. December is awfully colorful and we do take a very we take a three-week break for Christmas so anyway so that's that and then at the top I added in um, these sticky uh, tabs for the month just so it's easier for me when I'm thumbing through to get to the month I want okay the next tab is our weekly plan and um, you know, and a lot of the pre-purchased and the purchase planners I've had, they put everything together, all the kids in one, everything together. It, that's just not how my mind works, and it's really not enough space for me to fit in what I want to write. Um, so I divided this up between the things we do together as a family, the things my daughter does on her, you know, separately, and the things my son does separately. So, like for family, we do uh, Bible. We do art and music appreciation, our vocab and spelling, uh, logic and philosophy this year we are doing together as a family. Then the next page or tab is for my daughter's weekly lesson plans. And she's, you know, language arts. This would be, um, you know, writing, grammar, her vocab, um, or sorry, not her vocab, that's um, oh, British literature she's doing this year, that kind of thing. Uh, geometry, British history, physics, and then her electives, like her foreign language and that home ec, that kind of stuff. Then the next page is for, or next tab is for my son's weekly plans. Um, again, language arts, uh, pre-algebra, he is doing a um, history geography for the Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, for science, he's doing a kind of a CSI forensics year. And then electives, again, like his foreign language and stuff. Okay, the next tab, uh, logs and lists. So here are our things that we do together, our family read about loud log. Now, um, I have not, this isn't ready yet for us to start school. Um, we're starting in about a week. So um, this is what I will be working on 
as we get closer. So anyway, uh, there's a place for the title, the author, what the genre is, and then a check box for, box for when we've completed that book. Uh, supplemental materials used, title, topic, subject, the source. The source is, there's a key down here. These are for the DVDs, videos, that kind of stuff. Um, whether this is part of our home library, library whether I'm um, checking it out from the public library, a YouTube video, uh, whether it's on Amazon Prime, Netflix, or a DVD we're renting from Netflix. Then we have the library book log. Title author, is it on hold, is it checked out, the date due, and then when it was returned. And then a list, a log for field trips. Um, then I have a separate divider for my daughter. This is um, her course study for the year, broken down by subject, the resource, and whether it's independent or teacher directed. And I will do um, a separate video for both her and my son on what they're studying for this school year. And then here we have a book list, title, author, the subject, and then a checkbox for whether she read it or not. Um, this is not complete by any means. I just just last night put in her um, the book she's doing for British literature. Um, and then I have a practical life skills checklist. Uh, these are the things that I want her to know before she leaves the house to go out on her own. And uh, none of these boxes are checked off because I haven't taken my old one out that's all messy um, and just gone through and checked off the boxes. So she knows quite a few of these. But anyway, there's I don't remember where I got this original list. I know that I took out things and I added in things and made it more personalized for what I wanted for the kids. Um, but there's a list for health and emergency preparedness, fix it and maintenance, financial and business, uh, personal stuff. And then um, there's a page for notes. And then there's another divider for my son. Same thing, course of study, book list, which I need to fill out, and then his um, skills checklist. And then blank page for notes. And then grades. And I have two pages, one for each semester for each child. And these I printed off from DonnaYoung.org. That's blurry. So I, again, I'll link that in the description box. And then notes and ideas. This is, uh, we do a nature study about once a week or so where they, um, you know, they have a notebook and stuff. And I, I have ideas, but this is, um, I printed this out from Ambleside online and it's, to give me ideas when I'm stuck and I just need some inspiration. Um, several pages of note paper. And then the following is, are kind of just fun things for uh, bucket lists for the season. So there's one for fall, Christmas, spring, and summer. And these um, I got from, you know, off of Pinterest. They are on my homeschool board, which I will link in the description box. And then the last tab is references, and I'm not gonna open this up because um, it's personal information, but in it I have, in our state, we have to do a letter of intent and file it with the local school district. And so that's been done and it's stamped, received, and dated, and so that's in here. I have a copy of the HSLDA homeschool laws in here for our state. I have our state's um, graduation requirements, credits, classes needed, that kind of stuff. And then I also have a copy of our state's immunization schedule. Our state law does require that we um, keep our uh, immunizations up to date in a, in a record of that. So that is it. Um, like I said, it's, you know, it's what I wanted. Everything in here is what I will use. There's nothing in here I won't use. And um, if you have any questions, Please uh, put your questions in the comment boxes below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, thank you for watching.